welcome to off-grid contracting guys in this video today i'm going to show you all we've done for straightway ministries and i look forward to showing it to you before i begin explaining everything on the wall here i just want to say a special thank you to straightway ministries as that they could have called anybody to do their install but they called us here at off-grid contracting and i am so grateful um anytime the phone rings and people trust us enough to have us out in the field to work for them and uh, with that said i'm going to go into explaining this system now guys all right guys so we're at the first day of construction here at straightway um i want to show you the grand scheme as you've seen it already at the end finished but i just wanted to show you how we do everything from a method at the very beginning uh what we're doing here and in this new year of construction too is that we're prepping for people to have compartmentalized systems. And what I mean by that is they can add more to it later and it's segmented. So we're going to put up four boards, three magnums, okay? And then we're putting up two charge systems. Now the charge systems will be maxed out, okay? It'll have all the power input that it needs. But what we're going to do here later is if they want to add an additional magnum, they can have that. It's gonna go into a service panel here. That's gonna be the input to this panel. We've got an input from outside generator feed to charge us because it's not going to be connected to the utility company. The way this is going to use the same panel and subsidize it is we're going to put a load lockout in this panel, which will disconnect the utility company while energizing the input 100 amp feed from the solar. Now that's the uh, ultimate goal here that we're, we're shooting to achieve with this. Now, uh, the battery bank will be set up below. We're gonna build a wood platform frame for that. We'll get that all straight here shortly. But that's pretty much the beginnings of this, guys. Now later I'll show you the solar panel brackets um, and et cetera as we move forward. Okay, so at this part in the build, we're gonna take the lift and we're gonna take the panels up top in a minute. Um, we've got two different sets of panels here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the one brand is. I'll, I'll get the info in the video description or later on, but these are REC. Um, Twin Peaks 290 watt modules, I believe is what those are. And um, we're gonna put the first array up of uh, five in a row. And then we're gonna go over here and put four in a row, four deep. So this be five in a row, four deep. And uh, be quiet the array. And we're gonna come down off the side with the drops and I've got all the terminations ready to go. So we'll get that up there. And I'll show you that in just a minute, guys. So here goes the uh, second um, set of uh, panels we've got bracketed up up on the roof we've done got one row up there you can see as the sun is starting to set toward this evening but we've got quite a few modules up already i think we've got nine out of 36 probably get these bolted down today finished up that right there that pallet will go up in the morning and uh, just a quick uh, cap right now where we're at is uh, before I get back on the roof, we've got all the charge systems on the wall and the magnum set as well. So we'll be drilling and jumping on that this evening once the rest of the materials get the job site. All right, good morning everybody and welcome to the second day on the job site. Um, what I'm gonna show you here in just a second, I'm gonna step inside and you can see um, what Abby's been doing on the boards on the inside. But what we have right now is we've got the wire drops coming around the edge. That's gonna be wire loom because the customer didn't want um, the, uh, uh, Dow didn't want it to go up through the roof so it's gonna wrap the roof. Um, some customers want it through up into the metal, some don't. So we always try to accommodate that. So what we're gonna do is wire loom that around the edge, zip tie that wire loom that, and then of course it's got a drip line there so that it don't get water up into the weather head. There's that, that um, sag down. Um, now what we got is that's gonna go down and inside because um, Jeff's already punched through the block. Um, if y'all haven't checked, if you need any electrical services done, make sure to check out Thompson Electric. Information's in the video description below. Jeff's a great electrician. Um, so what we got right here 
is going to be a copy duplicate of what you see right there, but a little bit higher up. Um, because the second set of panels is going to come off that about a foot or so further up and that's going to drape in and go through there So I'm gonna step inside right now and see how Abby's progressing on the boards and we'll pick up in there Okay, everybody, so what we have now is um, Abby's finishing up securing the magnums um, we've got all the units in place now and um, What we're going to do now is the wire that was pulled through here will terminate that into the combiner boxes this one here is coming in we're gonna do just likewise outside jeff's getting uh, materials at the supply house in town right now to terminate um, the ac runs from the magnums and everything and we're gonna slowly but surely get done through this today you know a lot of folks um, don't understand the level of risk that goes into um, doing off-grid construction, whether it's a water system, solar system, house building, I mean, just the list goes on and on and on. Construction is always dangerous. It's important to be extremely safe. And this right here, these top roofs, they get slick. You can take a ride and it can be a goner. We uh, got the next row of panels up. The first rows we put up the other day were evergreens and these are were 200, I think they're 220 watt modules. That we put up the other day these are two 90 watt um, twin peak panels by rec solar uh, we're going to rack these beside it we've done a grid of 20 the other day this is going to be a grid of 15 which will end with one panel back with help out there um, and that's roughly how that's going to finish out on the grids um, but yeah guys I, I tell you that we take a lot of risk in business doing this stuff getting off grid is not an easy thing uh, the electrical work the risks that are taken the money that's spent i mean it's it's a big investment but i assure you at the end of it having personal independence means the world as you guys see here lucas is up there finishing up the almost the last of the solar panels we've still got those left to put up there he's working hard at it doing a really good job Guys, I don't know if you can hear me up top, but we got about four panels left to do. There'll be one little panel area left out there, and it's finished up. So I'm going to zip this down real quick before we lose light for the day, and we're almost, almost finished on day two. So here is the completion of the uh, solar array on the roof, and the sun is setting on the second day of the install. And there is 35 modules uh, between the two um, suppliers there, manufacturers, they, between Evergreen and between REC Solar uh, units on that roof. And it turned out really nice, very clean. So we're going to go over the other side and finish the wire terminations there, go inside, wrap that up, and pretty much just be one day to pop back in. When the batteries arrive, um, knock that out. They didn't make it because of truck freight issues. So uh, we'll be back out to knock that out, but otherwise it's pretty much cut and dry and done. All right, guys, so this is the end of the second day working. Um, special thank you to Jeff for Thompson Electric. Make sure to check them out. Needing electrical needs, Miss Abby for her help. And uh, guys, that's the finished product with the exception of setting batteries. We'll be back just as soon as they uh, arrive. So this is two days construction um, and it's knocked out with the exception of setting the battery bank. We'll get that online put the uh, controller on the wall, the uh, RTR unit, and um, a battery monitor sensor on the wall, and uh, this will be a finish on this job. Okay guys, so we're here on the third day of this build. Uh, we had to come back because of some materials coming. Um, what we have left to do is hook in the network cables. We're gonna put the load lockout plate so that the feedback into the service panel will lock out the main power supply, and we're gonna put the fuses into the blocks. These are Outback uh, nanocarbon 200 NC um, batteries. They come with a two year manufacturer warranty um, because this is the closest thing to pure lead carbon batteries Outback used to offer. Sadly, they're not out there in the market anymore. So um, pretty much nanocarbon is the next best thing that I can tell you about. Um, we've left space that later down the road, if another Magnum's added to the system, that'll give them 120 amp service available going out. Um, 
what we're going to do, like I said, is finish that up, and then I can show you um, everything powered on going in. We have the charging systems going right now. They're filling up the battery bank, get a, get a good uh, absorb charge going into that right now and everything. Um, so what we'll do is um, finish this up, and I'll show you the rest in just a second. Okay, so here we are at the finish line of the project and we have the Outback Nano Carbon batteries in place. Um, a closet is going to be put around this later when the finish work is done. Um, just gotta cut some zip ties off there in just a second where we neatened up the cables. And what we have here is the router for the Magnum system. We have our cabling coming down to each unit. Now a fourth unit can be added later to give this uh, 120 amp worth of service out. But we're going to look at our charge systems. We've got our charge systems online. Very little power needed right now because there's there's no load hardly at all in the building. Um, just one of the, uh, I believe one of the fourplex areas has just been finished uh, out. So um, we've got the solar coming in from outside and uh, through those inputs. And then we've got right here, those are the OTG boards from Hurricane Wind Power. Make sure to check out Hurricane Wind Power as they provided all of the solar equipment for this install. Uh, great vendor, we appreciate them. Um, right here's the inputs. Uh, we've got the input coming in from the generator feed outside. I can step out and show you in a minute. Um, and here's the combining of that going in to the units. And real quick before I go any further on the system, we'll just go ahead and look at that generator plug. And here we have the solar inputs as we can see from the outside. Um, and here's the generator plug right there going in. Okay, so as the distribution of that goes into the Magnum units, then we have the output going into this distribution panel. And that's combining them so that they're parallel and we have 90 amp service going out. And then we arrive at the main service panel. We have the load lockout. Uh, to keep this to code so that we don't have two energized sources on at once and um, it's a really affordable load lockout ladies and gentlemen it's one of the solutions we use in the field to save customers tons of money um, on their project because we are about saving you money because if we can save you money then that gives you money to pay us for labor to work for you and um, lastly uh, we arrive back down at the battery bank um, that's feeding the magnums. That's pretty much everything you need. Your charge system, your inverters, your battery bank. All in one neat area right there. And we have this nice battery status monitor from midnight on the wall there. And disregard the uh, red light to the left. That is uh, not reading that right because um, <laughs> it's at a full state of charge. I don't know why it is with these AGM batteries, but um, the midnight monitor sometimes will stay on that readout when you move the pin um, to change it to AGM. Still trying to figure that out between midnight, but you always want to go off your state of charge at the top, and we're at 100% state of charge. And guys, that's that's it in a nutshell. Um, going off grid um, doesn't take up that much space. This can power a lot of loads, and if you've got pretty much an eight foot space. Um, in a structure area and you've got room to put your solar uh, panels up, you can definitely rock and roll out. So I just want to say thank you for joining us on the job site together. If you haven't checked us out, make sure to look at offgridcontracting.com. Look at all our work we've done, lots of projects out there, lots of ideas. If you're wanting to go off-grid, we'd be glad to help you with it. Until we see you again, I look forward to working for you.